some Glitch in the Matrix stories, part banana. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> My name is Alf and I live on the Arkansas side of the Ozark Hills. There are mountain ranges with creeks, caves, and swimming holes as far as the eye can see. We all heard stories of Sasquatch and the Ozark Howler, but what I experienced is unlike anything I ever thought was possible. What is the Ozark Howler? Has anybody heard of that? The year was 2012 and I was 18 years old. My cousin and I decided to go to a creek a couple miles from my house. We drove down the old logging roads into the woods that I had ran around in since I was a kid. When we got to the creek, we grabbed our rods and reels out of the bed of my truck and fished for a while. Once we had pulled out all of the perch that we thought we were going to catch, we decided to walk on down to this old cave we knew about, which was a short distance from where we had been fishing. When we got to the cave, nothing seemed out of the ordinary except for one thing. You could see an opening at the end, which I didn't recall being there before. This cave, which was now more of a tunnel, was on the side of a small hill. Like always, my curiosity got the better of me and I started to walk through to the other side while my cousin decided to wait where he was at. And your cousin is smarter. <laughs> I used a small flashlight that I carried in my pocket for some extra light. I walked what I'm guessing was about 200 to 250 feet and I finally reached the end. From what I recall, everything up until that point seemed normal. When I climbed back over the hill, I saw my cousin standing there waiting for me. I didn't realize it was right away, but something was off. I could have sworn that he had been wearing a white t-shirt, but now it was more of a light gray color. I didn't think too much of it. As we approached my truck, I noticed its color was off as well. What used to be a cherry red 1984 Shelby Silverado was now a maroon color. Was this a prank? It couldn't be. Nobody ever goes down that old road and nobody but our mothers knew that we were there. I brought this up to my cousin and he acted like I was pulling his leg. Your truck has always been this color, is what he told me. I shrugged it off and we drove back towards my house. This is where things really take an odd turn. We pulled up to my house and on the left side there used to be two sweet gum trees. They were now on the right side. I couldn't be going crazy. Every year I would have to rake the gumballs over to the burn barrel in the left corner of the property by the wood line. That burn barrel was now on the right side. I had a really uneasy feeling about all of this. Everything is like just slightly different. Was that like a portal in there? Was there a portal in that tunnel? Because everything's just like slightly off. Hold on. My mama and I have always had a great relationship, so I figured that she could offer some insight on the situation. She assured me that I wasn't losing my mind and I probably just got too hot while I was out fishing. Okay, but did she confirm that like the things were the way that you thought they were or that the things have always been the way they are in this weird little reality? After all, it was the middle of July. I went to bed that night hoping that I would wake up and everything would be back to normal. When I woke up the next morning, I noticed that my sister hadn't been wearing her glasses. I asked my mama where her glasses went and with a puzzled look, she said, your sister has never wore glasses. Okay, all these little things are starting to give me the chills. My heart started racing as I ran outside, just as I suspected the trees and the burn barrel still sat to the right of the house. For the next couple of months, I kept noticing small and seemingly insignificant changes. For example, McDonald's, as everyone knew it, was McDaniel's, how I knew it. What? So you were from a different reality, friend, and now you are in our reality here? Also, can I just say, my immediate thought was for you to go back to the tunnel and like drive through it again. You know all those movies where they like swap bodies and whatever they're doing at the time to swap bodies, they have to go back and like do the exact same thing to reverse it? Go reverse it! I love those movies, by the way. Walmart was Walmart, but the logo was green and white instead of blue and white. My pawpaw's tattoo he got while in the military was now on his left arm instead of his right arm. Movie titles, road names, building locations, Locations, as strange as it was, none of it directly affected me except for one thing. My mama had been going on about this and that a couple of days after the incident took place. Most of it went in one ear and out the other, but something caught my attention. Now that you're 20 years old, came at the end of her rambling. Confused, I asked, what do you mean 20 years old? To which she replied, your son, now that you're 20 years old. The rest was unheard. That uneasy feeling came over me again as I ran out to check the calendar. I could feel fear and anxiety intensify as I stared at the date, July 18th, 2014. This couldn't be. If this was true, then that means I would have never turned 19. Just two days ago, I was 18. Something was definitely wrong. I called my cousin and had him meet me at the old logging road. We rode the rest of the way together. I had to see if that cave was still open at the end. You are gonna do what I said. If it did, then I was going back through. My heart sank when we reached it. Just a normal fucking cave. <gasps> Something bad happened that day back in 2012. Maybe I'll never know exactly what it was. The year is now 2024 and I'm 30 years old. Still without answers. Still here. Am I missing from where I was before? Will my cousin get the blame for my disappearance? I just don't know. It seems as though I shifted into a parallel universe. A slightly mirrored alternate dimension would be my guess. But what I fear is this. When I walked through that cave, something tells me I never came back over the top of that hill. Chill! 
Okay, so either you did go through that tunnel and it was like a portal to a different dimension, to this timeline, to this dimension, to this reality, or you went through that tunnel and somehow you died and quantum immortality, you jumped into an extremely similar timeline in which all of these things are just slightly, slightly different. Those are my two guesses, but either way, I cannot even imagine what that feels like to just everything be a little bit different. That must really fuck with you, man. That must really fuck with you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and thank you so much for sharing your story with us.